Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem. Baruch HaMabayim. We're continuing in Mishnah Bura Daf HaShavua. We're up to Simen Nun Hei. Sif Hei. Um, somebody wanted to know how to remember that Simen Nun Hei is a Dine Kaddish. It's because, very simple, there's a very simple mnemonic. That uh, when someone's saying Kaddish, there's no herring. You're not allowed to have herring while during the Kaddish. Nun hey, no herring. After the Kaddish, there is herring. You have to bring herring. So that's, uh, that's why it's called Simon Nun hey. I just thought you might want to know that. Okay, Sif, we're in the middle of Sif hey. Um The Mechabra says Sif hey, that if someone didn't bring Shtei Sarais, even if he is 17 years old, he's a Katan. Until the majority of his, until he's 35 years old and change. Because then we know he's a Sris. Says the Ramah, we're not medactic besaros. Anyone who reaches 13 years, we're machzik mezagadol. And we say he probably brought two hairs. Um, now, let's see Mishabros of Katan Lama. Dinai Kagadol. The Shita and the Machaber was. If we see Simone Sris before 35 years old, he has a din of a gadol. Says the Mishabura, Vidavka Kishigilish Nas Esrim. Simone Sris will only help if he reaches 20 years old. Hainu Shloy Shemyoim Bishnas Esrim. That is 30, day, uh, 30 days into the 20th year. Kenu Das Reva Poiskim, Evan Ezra Sim Kofnon Hei, Sif Yabes, Vloy Hevi Shte Sarais. So if he did not bring two hairs, the Azmahani has Simanim Lashavi Lasris Lamafreya, then the Simanim helped to make him a Sris retro- retroactively. Bain Shinodulai Simanim Shnas Asram, whether the Simanim developed in the twentieth year, Oy Kaidam Maza, or before. Ava Kaidam Shigil Shnas Asram. But before somebody reached twenty years old, Afal Pishishli Kala Simani Sarisos, even though he has all the signs of being a Sris, Amrinan, we say Adayin Hu Katan. He's still a Katan. So even though he's a, uh, he has the signs of being impotent, um, we still say he's a katan. I remember I was once a Rebbe um, for elementary school kids in, uh, in a day camp when I first got married. So I gave them tests in the summer and I gave them Taich words and one of the Taich words was Sris. So I remember one kid wrote, a Sris is an important person. You know, a kid doesn't know what does impotent mean. So really, a Sris is an important person. Um, that Tfila, which is Drabanon, then it could be if he doesn't have the hairs and he has Simane Sris before 20, we could be make him near Simane Sris. Okay, so this is all in the Shita of the Machaber, that according to the Machaber, you mamish need two hairs, you can rely on the fact that he's a gadol, to assume if he's a gadol, he probably has the hairs. Again, I want to point out um, that two hairs is not only b'makam erva, the Mishnah Baruch and Sivkat and Chavhei, it's even shar makoim haguf. We pointed out that later on in this simon, the Mishnah Baruch writes that look in Evan Ezer, and there the Shulchan Aruch passes like the Rambam, that it does have to be b'makam erva. So I always thought that Shtei Sarois has to be B'makoim Erva. And that's what the Mishabruah even says later. For some reason, it's of Katan Chavhei, Mishabruah says it's not required B'makoim Erva. Okay. Um, the Mishabruah continues that the Shita the Ramah is that once a kid reaches 13 years old, um, he is. We could assume he has two hairs. Chazak the Rav Inyan Zeh writes Salaimer Leinyan Tfila Shehim Midrabanan regarding davening, which is rabbinic. The Afil Das Apoyes Kum that Tfila He Dairaisa even let's say according to Shita Saramam that Tfila Dairaisa Al Kapanim Tziruf Asara Lav Dairaisa Hu. Nevertheless, a minion is not Dairaisa. Now, what's interesting is, what about for him to be a chazan? That according to the shitois, that tefillah is dairaisa, if he, ha- he can't be mitzi others. 
which is interesting. That, the thing is, nowadays, uh, Shatz is not really being mighty anyone. So I don't think uh, that's, that would be an issue. What it is an issue for is uh, what's a common mistake is that bar mitzvahs, people put up their kid to make kiddush. You know, you have the Shabbos bar mitzvah, and they want the kid to make kiddush. You can't do that. You can't put up a kid to make kiddush. A thir- I'm talking about a 13-year-old kid. Or you can't put up a kid to make havdalah because uh, nobody checked the kid. And uh, we don't rely on chazakas for daraisa. Alkein samchina za. Therefore, legabi to which which is rabban, we rely on the chazak. Rabbi and kibin shabal chal shnoi. So we say since he reached thirteen, mistama hevi shtei saarais. The rabban asher most people mikibin shigel chal shanim. Once he reached that age, mistama mivin shtei saarais. He probably brought two hairs. Avle inyan shar chiyuv daraisa. But legabi other chiyuvim daraisa. Enoi mayal the chazaka is not going to help. Look in the Prima Gadam who speaks at the, at this, about this at length. He concludes, Since it is a common miyot, This is very interesting. This din, that we don't rely on chazaka of Rava. Again, Rava's chazaka is roiv people who reach 13 years old, have two hairs. Why don't we rely on a Dairaisa? Roiv is Dairaisa. The din that we don't rely on the Roiv for Dairaisas is a din de Rabbanon. You hear this? Meaning the halacha that a kid can't lay in Parsha Zachar for the Tzibor, that's not a din de Dairaisa. It's a din de Rabbanon. What would the Nafkamina be? I guess the Nafkamina would be if you're Mesupik if he has two hairs. Let's say you checked. Now you have a Suffolk if he has two hairs or not. So l'chayra, it's a suffix, not in a dairaisa, it's a suffix in a drabana. Unless you say, chazaka will say that he doesn't have the two hairs because he's mochzuk to be a katan. Just pointing out, it's important to know that the din that we don't rely on, chazaka derav, is a din da derabana, not a din dairaisa. It's a din derabana by dairaisa. Sivvav. Din hischel echad me'asar lespala levadoi. Let's say one of the ten started to daven. We can't answer. Or one of the ten is sleeping. He joins in the minion. As long as you have six. Right? Rav Nassim, here it is, where the Mishabura says that if you have six people who could answer, and four people are davening Shemana Esrei, you're allowed to say Chazar Sashatz. Even though, oh, V'yesh machmirim b'yoyser me'yachad. There are those who are machmir. That you need nine people who could answer. Okay? But you... Which, by the way, not nine people could answer. It sounds like there are... Eight people could answer. You need the ch- the chazin, eight people. But everyone agrees if one guy is still dominating Shemana Esrei, let's say you have ten people, one guy is dominating Shemana Esrei, you definitely could continue. Now, this is not necessarily talking about Chazar Sashatz. That we'll have to see when we get to Hilchas Chazar Sashatz. But here the Mishnah Brua says it, that may Iker Hadin, you just need to make a minion, you just need a total of Rubam She'ein Mispalim Shemana Esrei, V'choylem Lanois. Which, by the way, sounds like it means if you have a chazan and five people, that's good enough. Yeah, that's what the Mishnah Baruch says. Now, uh, the Dershu brings this din that you could say Kaddish and be Mitztarev, someone who's still davening. Rav Chaim Kenievsky says, it applies to Chazar Sashatz as well. Okay? The Dershu quotes Reb Chaim in the Isha Yisrael that Legabe Chazar Sashatz, we say this din as well. And the Mibir Allah is mashal say. However, the Shachnach says later on that if you don't have nine people being mechavin to the Berchus Hashatz, Kroivois Brachosav Lios Levatala. Um, the Mishnah writes on this that the Minigah Olam is to be to the minion 
even someone who's talking and is not listening to Chazar Sashatz. So therefore the shot should be masna that if they don't answer, I mean, it's a tefillah nadava. I assume what, what he means, people talking, is let's say you're calling somebody in from another minion, and he's just standing there, and he's having a conversation. Um, it sounds like people are mitzarifit, but it's not correct. Bottom line is, um, if you're in a minion mitzumtzum, and... You, you only have five people answering, and everyone else is dominating Shmon Esrei. Um, certainly, there are, there are many Paiskim that say, including the Bir Halacha and, um, and Reb Chaim Kinevsky, that you could say Chazar Sashatz. Okay, Uvi Yashen, someone who's sleeping. Someone who's sleeping, you can include him even more than one. Uh, even, excuse, excuse me, even more than one. Meaning, someone who's sleeping, you could use him for a minion. Okay, like this. The Mechaber says, if one of the ten people are still davening or he's sleeping, you could be mitzdarif him. The Mishabura is saying that the truth is even more than one. But by sleeping, you can't be mako more than one. But you could be Mako with one. In other words, let's say you have uh, nine people and a 13-year-old kid who's out cold. You know, he has, he's wearing a shluf kapal, he has a teddy bear, he's, with, he's in pajamas, and he's snoring. You could be mitzarif him to a minion. You could be mitzarif him to a minion. That's, that's... Did he ever need to be part of the minion and he fell asleep? No, no. You could carry him in on his bed. He's a Jew. He brings down the Shechina. Now, the Taz says a guy who's talking is not Metzarif. A guy who's talking is not Metzarif. Oishuhu Yashen. I'm from a government that says, well, I didn't let any Zimon ask. So I got him to Yashen Metzarif. That's the Shechina. I'm not letting it feel. Legabe Zimon, someone asleep, would also be Metzarif. Well, any Chris had turned to see us, Kapayim Tzarchian. For laning and for duchening, Yesh La'ayin. I think, I think it's because it's like he's not moide be'inyan. He's like excluding himself. He's being he's being mevaza. In other words, the guy's sleeping. He's sleeping. Sleep is an important thing. He's not being mevaza. He just he needs sleep. <laughs> we could look at the taz. Now, why would kriyas hatoyah be different than davening? Why? For davening, he's not mitzarif, and for kri- why for davening a sleeping guy is mitzarif, and for kriyas atayra not. I don't know. I'm not sure. By the way, the Bir Halacha says in Simon Kuf Mem Vav that according to Shochnach, a yoshin is not mitzarif for kriyas atayra. Ach leinian kriyas hamegila. Regarding reading the Megillah, Bavada in Hayashi Metzarif, someone who's sleeping is not Metzarif, La Asar Le Kuliyama, Deme Megillah, Boy Asar Le Persume Nisa. For Megillah, you need 10 for Persume Nisa, Uvi Yashin Leka Persum. A guy who's sleeping, there's no uh, Persume Nisa. Now, someone who is davening or sleeping is Metzarif. Why? Because if you have 10 people who are of age, the Shechina is amongst them. A guy davening Shemun is not like a Katan. A Katan is not a Yisrael Gomor yet. But a guy davening Shemun Esrei, he brings the Shechina. V'loi dami l'katan, d'lav bar kedushahu. V'ayin betaz shechoi leik l'inyin yashin Israeli de'in l'tzarif. Now, okay, so that, that might be why the Taz says someone who's talking is not Metzarif. Because the Taz holds a guy who's sleeping, even one guy who's sleeping is not Metzarif. Why? Why? Someone who's sleeping, he's like a shaita. I would say someone who's talking by davening would also fall under that category. But he has a, he's the din of a, a shaita. 
Ayin Sham Alkin Lachil Vali Tzach Lakitzai Lachil You definitely need to wake him up. Al Kapanim La Oirai Shehei Misnam Name. At least wake him up that he's dozing. I mean, if the guy is is um, snoring, then that's then he's out cold. The Taz says for sure not. At least wake him up that he's Bechlam Misnam Name the Ayin Bebir Halacha. Look in the Bir Halacha. Aishu Yashin, he says, see the Mishnah Bura, Lechachila, you should wake him up. And, ah, so I would have said, if you can't wake him up, you still have a minion. The Mechaber says, you could be Mitzar for Yashin. But if you can't wake him up, the Baruch says, Tzarchi in Lamaisa. Because even though the Prima Gadim says that if it's EF Shur, Hatsoy Mechala Shulchan and Aruch Lai Hifsa, that's what I would have said, Vechim Mash Mechaya Adam. But the Chida and the Der Chachayim agree with the Taz and the Pri Chadash. He says it could be that in a place where they'd say Kaddish or Kedusha out loud and everything else quietly, there's no Cheshash of Brachel of Atala. I don't know what he means. I guess they don't really say a full Chazar Sashatz. Just in the silent Shman Esrei, the Shel Tzibur says it. It's hard to hear why b'makam atchak you can't be semich on the shulchan aruch. Shulchan aruch says you could be uh, a yashen is mitzdarif to a minion. But apparently, too many achroinim are maskim to the taz. Not like this. Okay, um, Rabbi Isai, Regarding tomorrow's schedule, is I'm not going to be around at nine o'clock. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to send out uh, later today what the schedule is tomorrow. Maybe we'll do Friday. Uh, instead. Okay? Hatzlach Rabbah. Have a good day, everyone. Kol Tov.